Welcome back. It's time for our pet spotlight this morning. We're featuring pets ready for adoption via video chat. Today, Terry Fields from Hospice Hearts is joining us, and she has uh, three cats that she's going to talk about this morning. Also, volunteer Elaine Estes is joining her as well. Hey, Terry, how you doing? Hi, Christy. I'm doing well. How about you? We're doing great over here. Um, we said earlier I'm allergic to cats. So it's a good thing you got all three of them over there. <laughs> It, it is a good thing because let me tell you the fur is flying just from petting <laughs> so, uh, uh, the, the kitty i have right now is kobe he just came to us yesterday we don't know a whole lot about his background but he's about two to three years old and as you can see uh, he's a very sweet kitty cat um, he's especially being sweet right now because a little earlier he was a bit ornery but as a typical male he was hungry <laughs> so once we got him some some food he chowed down and he just settled right in um, we believe he'll be good in a home with cats kids other people it should be just fine i think he'll be a a really nice pet for somebody and we're going to play a little musical chairs now because elaine has um another cat who does elaine have Elaine has Bonnie, and I'll exit this chair so we can keep our distance, and she'll be in with Bonnie. All right. Here comes Bonnie. Yep. <laughs> Elaine, tell us a little bit about Bonnie. Bonnie came to us with roommate with ha other housemates um, from Southern Illinois, and she was a little shy at first when she came in, but now she has calmed down, and she does really well, except for this morning. <laughs> <laughs> she's a little squeamish. She's 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 had enough for the day. Um, I guess. Um, <laughs> she doesn't she like being been, on she's camera. She's very playful. It's like I guess she doesn't she doesn't like to be held so much this morning. <laughs> but she has done really well. She's calmed down, and she would do really well with a house with cats because she came with, I believe, she was in a house with five others. But she's a really sweet little lady, except for this morning. So she's, she's not a morning lady. She's good with other cats, and she probably just wants to hang out and lay lay around. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Elaine, thank you so much. Now we're going to bring Terry back in. Terry, back with us. Terry, and, what do you have now? <laughs> and, and this uh, this little lady is Lexi, and uh, she is uh, again. She, she would be uh, best in a house as an only cat. She's a bit of a diva. Okay. So she would like to uh, to be the only princess around. Uh, very sweet, and uh, she seems quite cuddly. Uh, I haven't spent a lot of time with her, but she came right out to me, and uh, she seems a little. She seems just fine. We haven't had to feed her or tempt her with treats or anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get her so you can see. Oh, she's There you cute. go. There. She does. She has a sweet face. So we, she'd make somebody a great little pet. So, Terry, uh, more information on all of these cats can be found on your website as well as yes. um, you guys are doing something special during this pandemic. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing. Well, Pets on the Porch, uh, we are continuing. Uh, adoptions are, are ongoing. And uh, we will sanitize everything and hand, up, hand off the pet to you, keeping a social distance. But we've had several adoptions. And uh, so please don't feel like you have to wait until this is over. Yeah, In no, fact, this is a perfect time to get a pet because what else are you going to do? Right. I was just going to say that. It's a, it's a perfect time to get a pet because at least you can spend some time with them um, right. while this pandemic is going on. And my dog certainly is loving having me home all the time. She just looks at me balefully if she knows I'm getting ready to leave like this morning. I know. <laughs> it's so sad, isn't it? It is. And we're still accepting foster applications. Uh, the more fosters we have, the more animals we're able to help. So uh, hospiceheartsanimalrescue.org. Go on there and fill out a foster application and we'll be in touch. All right, Terry, thanks so much. This was fun. I like the musical chairs this morning. <laughs> <laughs> it is something new and different. Thanks, Terry. Good to see you. Thanks, all. Bye-bye. <laughs>